Now, Bill, tell me about this collection. Just tell me, because I'm just going to videotape this a little bit. You don't have to be in it. Just tell me about it. Okay, it's a, a collection of Indy 500 race cars. And your dad was an Indy driver. Yes, from 19... He, he was an Indy driver from 1932 to 1946. And what was his name? George Beringer. George Beringer. And you had these, a lot of these cars carved... Yes. By artists carved them for you. Yes, on oh, the wooden ones. The wooden ones, okay. The other ones were all purchased. Okay, and which ones are you selling then? I'm selling everything that was not directly uh, involved. You know, my dad's cars. Okay. This was my dad's, so that's not for sale. Okay, but are these cars down here for sale? Yes, all these. All these are going to be for sale. All okay, those. So is going to just going to do a quick? Video of these. These back here too? Yes, all those for sale. Okay. And there's a hundred of them that you're going to be selling? A hundred. Okay. What uh, about these, these larger ones? These are for sale. Okay. And these here are also. Uh -huh. All of these for sale. And these are your dad's speed records up here? Yes. He made 33 land speed records at Bonneville Salt Flats wow. in 1940. And then what's this famous car that's in the museum that was his signature it's car? It's the Golf Miller rear end car designed by the great Harry Miller. It was the last race car Harry Miller ever designed and built. Wow. There's another picture here, right? There's this one here. Where is it? Oh yeah. This this is the the car we're talking about. And it's your dad right there. Yes. Boy, that's um, that's a neat and car. All those cars he drove. And these up here. Yes. All four of those cars. Wow. Okay, back to the collection. What else do we have that's going? These, these. What about this little center one here? These are not going. They are not going. Okay. Um, these two. Okay, a little hard to see with the plastic. You can get an idea. They're very nice, aren't they? Now, what about this next? Okay. All of those are going. Okay, and then this also over here. All those are going. They're pretty intricate and detailed, aren't they? Yes. And you'd say the age of them are what, 10 years and older or around 10 years? Between, uh, I started the collection a dozen years ago, so they're between 12 years and five years old. Okay. You know, Can I, you mind if I take a shot of that picture you had painted? No. no. Let me get over this way a little bit. And the and the artist that did all the the uh, paintings at the at the where the the airport? Yes. Palm Springs Air Museum. So you commissioned him to paint this with your in dad in the car in the lead? Yes. That's beautiful. Okay, super. Well, I'm going to shut this off and get some still pictures. Appreciate you showing me all this. I'll see if I can get them do, sold. Do you know the name Ter Harry Miller? Does Harry, it sounds very familiar, yes. He was one of the most famous designers of race cars that ever lived. And uh, he was a good buddy of my dad's. So every, everything Harry Miller built, my dad drove for him. Wow. And there was a nice tie-in. And him. how many cars did he drive? For Harry Miller, he drove uh, three different cars at Indy. Wow. And this was given to me by uh, Harry Miller. You know, I don't know if you know who that is, Charlie McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that when I was two years old. Oh, really? I was 70 years old. <laughs> wow. And here's your dad in Bonneville Salt Flats? Yeah. 
Wow. That's well, when he made the world records in 1940. And you might, you might want to. <coughs> Golf Oil, when he made the world records, did a big advertising blitz, and this is what they gave out to people when you got gasoline at a golf station. Huh. And that was his sponsor. Mm-hmm. That's who made the race cars. Huh. Well, fantastic. Thanks for the little tour, and we'll see if we can get these things sold, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of history to it.